Kathleen with the San Diego Artisan Bread School. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to shape a batard or an oval. I've got my banneton ready, it's all floured, ready to go. I've got my dough, nice and relaxed, ready to go. I'm going to flour my work surface. Okay, I'm going to take my nice soft dough. I'm going to kind of shape it into more of an oval here just by manipulating it with my fingers. Okay, I'm going to grab the two corners. I'm going to pull them out. And I'm going to pull them in and go down about one third of the way. I'm going to just hold it just for a few minutes, a few seconds rather, with my fingers. Then this little bicycle seat, I'm going to pull that down and just hold it until it stays. Okay, drag it through a little bit of flour. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I've got the corners, I'm gonna pull them out, create that triangle, see the bicycle seat there? Pull that down, I'm gonna just hold it for just a second here. And I'm gonna put my thumbs not on the seam itself, not on the seam, but just above the seam right there. I'm gonna push down, I'm gonna pull over my thumbs See, so I've created some tension here, and then I'm going to seam it closed. I'm going to roll it towards me. I'm going to let it just sit there for just a minute and let that seam kind of close up. I'm going to check my seam. It's a little bit open here and here, so I'm going to just finesse that closed. And that looks fabulous. If I want any final shaping, I think it's just a tad longer than my a banneton. So what I'm going to do is just push in the corners, seam that down, then I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to put it seam side up in the banneton. Okay, one thing that's important to remember when you're shaping dough is always work towards yourself. Roll towards yourself, not away from yourself or sideways. You have much more control if you're working towards yourself.